Hi, everybody, and welcome. My name is Noah Gift. I'm the founder of Pragmatic AI Labs, and I'm also an executive uh, in residence at Duke. And what I do there is create Coursera content for Duke that specializes in the AI field. And I've created over a master's degree worth of uh, content in that domain. And I'm also the author of 10 technical books. So I'm excited to talk to you about this new subject, which is AWS Bedrock with Claude by Anthropic. It's a very exciting topic. So to start with here, uh, one of the things to consider with uh, these new ecosystem is what is constitutional AI? This is a key question. First, what it means is that there's an innovative approach that focuses on safety, honesty, and helpfulness. This is very different in that these are the core traits, not just maybe model accuracy, but what am I doing to actually ensure that the safety of the system is important? So drawing inspiration from constitutional law, this AI is programmed to avoid violent behavior, avoid theft, avoid defamation, et cetera. So why is it so important? Well, this technique includes self-supervision and also value-based learning from the backbone of the model and incorporated into this particular technology. So if we look at you know, the details of Claude here, let's first get into why was it named Claude? Well, Claude is designed to converse in a natural language. What it means is that this provides a responsive, helpful, and harmless interaction. It will not lie. It will not defame. It will not judge the users. So this is a huge step forward in AI ethics. Plus, Claude continually improves based on real-world feedback. So imagine having an AI assistant that's not only understanding what you're trying to say, but is also going to learn to assist you better over time. So how does this system actually work? First, uh, one of the things to think about is the secret sauce is self-supervised learning on a massive data set from the internet and also curated in an ethical way. But here's the twist. The training is oriented towards human values and social norms, and it's a cycle that never stops thanks to ongoing human feedback. So in essence, this AI is going to evolve with the evolution of society itself. And this is a key differentiation from other technology platforms in that it's really designed to be helpful to society from the very beginning. Let's talk about some of Claude's capabilities. First up here, one of the things that Claude can do is it can summarize and do task tracking and also fact checking. So for example, with Claude, you could give it, let's say a quiz or a report you did for business, and you could ask it to do some fact checking to verify that all the details you have in there are accurate. You also can use Claude to summarize. So for example, if you had a huge document, uh, that document could be multiple pages of a PDF, you could upload that and say to Claude, I'd like you to give me the first three critical points so that I can summarize this in a meeting. This, this is a really big time saver because it means you can consume more content more quickly. doesn't mean that you won't, in the later uh, section of your research, review that content, but it allows you to really hone in on the key points early. Also, you can get personalized conversations and recommendations. So if you set the context window correctly, you can actually have you know, really these key based conversations all teed up for you. And also it has a wide variety of skills. So it can answer questions across topics from technical topics to medical topics to even things that are currently uh, happening in the news. So if we get into responsible AI with Anthropic, let's see how this actually aligns with AWS. Well, one of the ways that it adheres to AWS's bedrocks pillar for responsible AI is that it acts as a safeguard against a risk like unsafe behaviors and also algorithmic bias. So we're not just using a smart technology, you're using an ethical smart technology. And I think this is a key thing that we'll find as we get the competition in 
the large language model space is that the ethical foundation is going to be one of the differentiators between other platforms. So if you're able to really show the ethical considerations, show that you're lacking bias, show that you have safety, you're going to build trust to the consumer and you're not going to you know, release things that could have wide scale harm to humanity. And this could be a competitive advantage, right? Really by using ethics as effectively the building blocks for the reputation of your firm, you're going to have an advantage over firms that maybe are less likely to consider that as a core trait. And that's one of the reasons for ethical AI is that it's a competitive advantage, not a disadvantage. So if we go into uh, the way to unleash this responsible AI with Claude, let's look at some of the key details here. First up, uh, the anthropic system supports bedrock pillars of responsible AI. So that's one of the key reasons why it's important to use it as a competitive advantage. Second, you can customize Claude models for your needs using AWS technologies like, for example, SageMaker in particular. And this customization allows you to specialize for your particular use case. Uh, we also have the ability to use the constitutional AI and harmless training. So what we know is that there's been a lot of thought put into the data sets and the models and how they're actually trained so that they have a really positive impact on society. And in terms of the particular use cases, we have domains like conversations, content creation, reasoning, and creativity. So we know that it's really a well-suited model for lots of different domains that are directly applicable to business. We also have the ability to avoid a risk like bias or unsafe behavior, which could in the short term, uh, maybe not seem important, but in the long term could cause wide scale reputational harm if you're not considering these aspects. So you're, you're really identified from this before this happens in the future, which is a huge advantage strategically with a model like Claude. Also Claude has several different versions. So there's Claude 2, which is the most powerful and latest version, but there's also uh, versions 1.3 and also Claude Instant, which gives you different characteristics, like, for example, optimizing speed and performance versus accuracy. So that's really uh, the, the details of why I think it's so important to study uh, the Claude and Bedrock uh, integration. Uh, these are some links here to find out more information about uh, me, uh, LinkedIn, YouTube, GitHub profile, Pragmatic AI Labs, my Coursera profile, and Amazon author profile. I look forward to seeing you in the future at a reInvent conference. Talk to you later.